It's awesome. What will you do as far as the, the roster you have? Are you set now going forward? Is, is everything pretty much locked in, or do you have to – what what about the timeline with, with Matthew Meyer in the transfer portal? Well, well, for, first of all, uh, nothing is ever set in college basketball. So that's, <laughs> that's number one. Yep. Um, number, number, number two, with uh, right now, um, players have till June 1st. Um, to decide if they're staying in the draft or coming back to college. So um, we'll see uh, uh, what decisions Matt, what decisions uh, Adam make in the near future here. Um, but obviously uh, uh, we've been really blessed to have players that have opportunities to reach their goals and dreams. And um, people say, well, do you want them back? We want them back. And of course we do. But at the same time, our job is also to help them reach their goals and dreams. And if they are able to do that, well, then, then, then we've done our job at the same time. If they don't, uh, you always love uh, uh, to have them back until uh, they, they're ready to go. Coach, I don't think we've talked to you since you made some staff changes. Obviously, you had to. Uh, Coach Brooks getting the great opportunity there at K-State and so on. But Tang. Uh, Tang, excuse yeah. me. Uh, Jared Nunes. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Don't take Brooks. <laughs> yeah, I know. They, 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 got, they got Tang, but that's yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> my, my, my fault on that. But, you know, Jared Nunes. Elbow him, Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> Al, uh, you, Alvin Brooks, now associate head coach, co-associate head coach, along with John Jacobs, and then bringing Tweedy Carter into the program. Uh, just your thoughts on, on the staff movements, bringing Tweedy back, and, you know, just uh, kind of reshaping this thing. Yeah, well, first and foremost, can't thank Coach Tang enough for what he's done for not only Baylor uh, basketball, but our university and community. Him and his family uh, 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 will be forever grateful. Um, they, we'll cheer for him every game except for hopefully two uh, when we face him, three if we play him in the uh, uh, conference tournament, four if it's in the NCAA tournament. But other than that, we'll be cheering for him. Uh, and then and then with uh, uh, Coach Jacobs and Coach Brooks, they've earned – uh, that that position and we the way we do things on staff uh, it, 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 it's it's our team it's not my way or the highway and so those guys uh, uh, contribute to, uh, uh, so much to of our success and what we've already done um, so uh, excited for them and then uh, really excited for coach uh, uh, Nunes because it's a new role new opportunity for him and he's uh, been outstanding uh, and a big part of our success over the years and then Bringing Tweedy Carter back, I mean, scored 74 points in, in, a, in a high school game, all-time winning, unofficial high school score. Because remember, he played uh, varsity ball when he was three years old, I think. <laughs> but uh, uh, actually, in seventh grade, I think he, he was at, he was in uh, uh, playing varsity ball in Louisiana. And then first McDonald's All-American school's history. But even more than that, uh, the last few years, he played overseas and uh, pro pro professional career for 12 years. And I thought we were going to lose him to the Oklahoma Thunder because once he got done, he went and uh, did a tryout with them, and they said, you know, um, we can't keep him, but we'd like to hire him as a coach. And at that point, I was like, nah, you need to keep playing if you want to play, and he wanted to play. So uh, 12 years later, he's been back in the community. He loves Waco, spends the summertime in here, has his family here. So uh, really excited to have him back. He'll bring a lot of energy, enthusiasm, excitement, and um, he's, he's just like, uh, uh, so many of us out there and that is you cut him and he bleeds green. So, uh, he loves Baylor. Well, coach, I was going to, I was going to ask you about Tweedy specifically, but you kind of covered, but I, I, I don't know if I've never met anybody who's maybe made to be a coach, given his path more than Tweedy Carter is. Yeah. And, 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 and again, he, he was an unbelievable leader in 2010 to help lead that team, uh, him and FA to, uh, the elite eight and. Uh, uh, we lost to Duke, who won it all and could have won a national championship that year, possibly. And uh, but but Tweedy is somebody that uh, 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 unbelievable uh, uh, human being, great encourager, loves loves young people, and uh, so I know uh, we're excited about having him a part of the program. And it's great getting some of our past players now that are finishing up playing seeing what they're doing in life and uh, uh, helping them with the second career. Yeah, they come back, they work out at your place. It's, awful. it's, it's the family, as you mentioned. Scott, one more thing. How many different